Turning now to the presidential race, Republican candidates are focusing their attention on a last minute push for votes ahead of the Iowa caucuses. Here you see Nikki Haley at an event outside Des Moines. It's the first real contest of this 2024 presidential election, and it starts in about five hours for the Republicans. The Democrats are not holding traditional Iowa caucuses this year. We do have team coverage. CBS 2's Charlie Damar is in Des Moines, but we start with CBS 2 political reporter Chris Ty at the Iowa Events Center, also in Des Moines. Moines, where a slate of campaign events scheduled today. Chris? Good afternoon, where there are three big stories we're following here on caucus day, the coldest in Iowa history. Number one is, of course, the weather and how it will affect turnout. The expectation is older voters, more Trump prone voters are more likely to stay home because of the high risk weather conditions. The question there then becomes, can President Trump hold that 30 point lead that he's seen in so many polls? Number two is who comes in at number two in Iowa. Ron DeSantis has put almost all of his political eggs in the Hawkeye basket. If he does not come out of here as number two, it is hard to see how he would continue on to New Hampshire. Nikki Haley has really replaced him in that number two position. And if she were to come out of here a strong number two, to, it would be a one-on-one -on -one, Trump versus Haley moving forward. And number three, there is an Illinois connection. Governor Pritzker is here in Des Moines today on behalf of the Biden-Harris team. A reminder, Democrats are not caucusing this cycle for president in Iowa, deciding that Iowa does not reflect adequately enough the demographics of the country to make it their first in the nation vote. For more on the weather component, and boy, is it a doozy. We hand things over to Charlie DeMar. Voters across Iowa will be facing brutal sub-zero temperatures as they head out to caucus tonight. And the cold, I mean, you just dress warm and that's not, that's not a big deal to me. Ah, this is Iowa. If you don't like the weather, stick around, it'll change in 10 minutes. The latest Des Moines Register poll suggests many Iowa Republicans will be choosing former President Donald Trump. He has an overwhelming lead over former Ambassador Nikki Haley and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who spoke to CBS's Tony DeCoppel this morning. You know, when people take a poll, they can push someone one way or other, but there's a lot of people that still haven't made up a final decision. Of course, polls can be wrong, and no one knows that better than Donald Trump, who surprised many political analysts with his presidential win in 2016. On Sunday, Trump took nothing for granted, urging voters to get out no matter how low the temperatures go. So brave the weather and go out and save America because that's what you're doing. Haley is determined to keep fighting no matter what the polls say. But we're going to keep on going anywhere and everywhere. We're going to go all the way until the last hour. President Biden will be watching developments very closely. A new CBS News poll finds Trump's support among national Republican primary voters has risen to its highest level yet, even as Haley leads President Biden by a wider margin. But voters in Iowa and across the nation may have much more to say before the general election. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Des Moines, Iowa.